I said at the outset that one of the problems when there's great pressure to uh, spend vast amounts of money is that there's insufficient attention to pay, paid to how well that money is spent. And you've got to believe that, that, that that's a problem facing us in, in Africa. Uju, can you point to some examples where Canadian money, Canadian taxpayers' money may have been wasted? The Canadian government now putting such uh, emphasis and effort and priority on sexual and reproductive health and rights and everything that comes with it, the comprehensive sexuality education, all the contraception programs that they are spending so much money on, um, things like condoms that are being shared in schools under the so-called adolescent friendly uh, family planning programs. Just a couple of years ago, uh, this is only one small example of how Western money could actually get wasted in an African country. A couple of years ago, the Ethiopian government uh, had a recall on 69 million condoms worth two million dollars so this is a lot of condoms this is a lot of money that isn't african money it is western tax bayers money and all of this uh the the condoms that were recalled were put in a pile literally put in a pile and set on fire because they said it didn't meet the standards it didn't meet the standard of elasticity there were holes in it there were problems with the different batches 69 million condoms donated by Western donors put up in a pile like trash, which it is, and set on fire. And all of this was completely burnt. This is money, $2 million that could have gone into a community to provide them with, say, for example, drinking water that in the, in the country, that same country, Ethiopia, where all these condoms were burnt, you have just about 33% of the people who don't even have access to clean drinking water. In a place where 33% of the people don't have access to clean drinking water, imagine that $2 million worth of condom is being burned in a pile. That's what happens when a Canadian government or any other government would put in money to giving people what they haven't asked for, what they don't want, what they're not clamoring for, just because you have your own priorities. It may just end up uh, with, with money being flushed away or with money just being burnt away. There have also been cases where uh, last year, Marie Stopes in Uganda had to have a major recall of about, I think, 4 million condoms. They had a, a major recall of condoms. We don't know what they did with it. But if you think about it, that Marie Stopes is an organization that is sponsored by the Canadian government, and then they're having recall of millions of condoms uh, over a period of time. What has that what has that you know what does that mean that has happened to your money it means that something that money that was donated has not in fact reached the community where it was donated to or where it was donated for people are wasting money women are giving contraception that they haven't asked for or they don't need or they don't want um, i had talked about the iud that we saw women in uganda trying to remove out of their bodies that all of this is Western donors' money. It ends up in places and in, and in, in situations where people take it because they're coerced or they're lied to or they're convinced to take it, but after a little while, they decide they don't want it anymore. At the end, we are having uh, you know, rejection of, of these things that then lead to just a complete waste of money because uh, money that could have been used for the real development of a community is being used for the priority of the donor. And of course, it ends up in a trash can somewhere or it ends up being burnt in a pile like we saw in Ethiopia.